Oh, exactly 20 t-shirts, pretty good. Um. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Justin Boone. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on, I'm sure you can tell by the title, but all my vintage Jesus t-shirts. I think I have about 20 in total right now. Some of them are from the collection of David and Goliath, but most of them are all personals. So some of them you'll be able to purchase and some you can't. I'm not selling any of my personals, sorry. But all the ones that are from David and Goliath, you can get online and I'll link that below. To start off, I'll talk about the one that I'm wearing. This is a like spin off of like a Harley Davidson t-shirt, front and back graphic. It's really big. I originally bought this for the collection. I misprinted the David and Goliath graphic on the underside of it. So I wasn't happy with the way it came out. Jacob and I both agreed that uh, we would just scrap it. So now it's a, a personal, but it's huge. So I just kind of have it. Yeah, I don't know. I wear it around the house sometimes, I guess. But we'll move on. Color coordinated, so I'll go from the lightest colors to the darkest. So this first one is a personal favorite of mine. It says, what happened to your hand? It's a Fruit of the Loom tee. I'm not, I'm not like good on the years and all that stuff, but I do know what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a Vince t-shirt. So this one is single stitch, both on the sleeve and the hem. No graphic on the back, but I do wear this one a lot. My boy Ev from Murder Bravado just released his own version of this same exact t-shirt, Who Decides Work Collection. So if I can find it online, I'll link it below for you guys to purchase. This is another one. This is a Hanes Heavyweight, I guess, BPT. Definitely older, but double stitched on both the sleeve and the hem. It says Soldier of Christ. I love this graphic. I got this when I was in Utah. Haven't gotten a ton of wares out of it yet. Uh, but I do plan to wear this a lot in the summer. I typically wear a lot of black t-shirts or like darker colors. So as I'm building on with the lighters, I'm gonna get more and more comfortable wearing them. They all look really good with jeans. So um, that's typically what I do. This one is from the collection of David and Goliath. It's single stitch on the sleeve and single on the hem. It's a home improvement tee. So it's like a spin off from like the home improvement show. Uh, and it says, we are the temple of the living God, 2 Corinthians 6, 18. I really like this one and, and I chose to get this one for the collection because I knew that it was older because of the stitching. Um, but I'd never seen this one before. Uh, so I thought it was unique. I like that it, it's not like starch white, like it's, you know, got a little bit of color to it. Um, so I really like that about it. So this one will be available for purchase. I'll link this one as well. Um, it's got original hand painting and then on the underside is David and Goliath. Really good shirt. Another one from the collection, which is a favorite of mine, which I'm surprised it's still available. It's double stitched both on the sleeve and the hem, but I really love what Jacob and I did with the colors here. Um, just playing off of the colors that are already on the shirt. So all the hand painting is yellow, black. I think there's a little bit of gray in here. Very minimal though. Uh, the cross shows what God thinks of man and what man thinks of God. Like this one was deep. Like. This is like a really strong shirt. I mean, it's a really strong graphic, so it's, it's not for everyone. I, I definitely understand. Um, but this is definitely a favorite of mine, just solely based off the graphic. It's really soft. Um, and then this one also does have the David and Goliath print on the underside. Moving on, uh, we have, uh, this is a more recent pickup. I don't remember where I got this one from. I shop a lot of my t-shirts uh, on Instagram, on Depop. I think I got this one on Instagram though, uh, or someone that I was following on Instagram, single stitched on the hem and the sleeve it says got jesus it's like a got milk commercial with the milk and the cookie looks like he's a basketball player of some sort and it says if anyone is thirsty let him come to me and drink john 7 37. another sick shirt i love this one definitely going to get a lot of wears out of this one uh, looking forward to pulling this one out when we're allowed to go back outside another good one double stitch on the hem and the sleeve it's a fruit of the loom tee it says when all us fails read the instructions and it's a picture of the bible Really cool t-shirt, it has some texture to it. I'm sure you guys can't see it from where the camera is, but that's a big reason why I copped it. Purchased this one in hand. I also got this one in Utah, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out to my boys at Vantage. No back print, just on the front. Moving on from the whites, we'll go to another one that I love, which is also a personal. I got this from Round 2, the vintage store on Ludlow Street in New York, in like Lower East Side. Really happy with this, the color was like sick. I've never seen a vintage t-shirt with this color. Single stitch on both the sleeve and the hem. 
no back print. I love the colors. The yellow is really strong. I think it looks great. Um, and then both the flags. And it says, in God we trust, 1983, the year of the Bible. I think this is a shirt from 1983. Paid 50 bucks for it. Not bad in my opinion. I don't like to pay anything over than like $80 unless it's like really, really good. Hyped on this one. An old Anvil tee. Anvil tags are talked about a lot in the Vince's t-shirt world, so I do know that just from like watching videos and, um, you know, Jacob, who's more of the expert in the vintage world uh, and knows what to look for. He knew that this was a good one when, uh, when I found it. Um, we were finished with the collection by this time, otherwise I definitely would have put this one in the collection. Um, so right now it's a personal. It might pop up in, you know, a collection later down the road. I'm not sure because it is really good. I think it could be useful for something. Stitch on both the sleeve and the hem. No back print. Um, and it says driven, not by nails, but by his love. Greater love has no man than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. I love the nail graphic. It is a bit graphic because there's blood on it. Um, but yeah, this is a t-shirt that I, I'm in love with. I love the color. With it being tan, it's very easy to wear. A lot easier to wear than like a white shirt, but it's not so dark. This one is by far my favorite. Shout out to Jacob J. Keller for selling me this gym. I was watching one of his YouTube videos. I don't know him personally, but watching one of his YouTube videos about his vintage t-shirt collection, which also inspired this video. And he had this one and, you know, he had said, you know, send me some offers. I might sell, might not, you know, we'll see what happens. And I just like expressed to him how much I really, really wanted this shirt. Either way, I didn't have one because we used one in the collection. So I was happy, really happy to find this one. It's absolutely destroyed, which is sick. Jacob did this red stitching right here on the collar. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, but the Lord's Gym, I think, is like one of the most iconic graphics for Vince's Jesus t-shirts. So it says the sin of the world, which is on the cross on his back. Um, it says bench press this, super faded, super destroyed. And the back graphic says his tenure gain uh, with the nail going through his hand and a bit of blood. Um, really happy with the fade on this one. Definitely been in the sun quite a bit from all of its previous owners. Super hyped on this shirt. Thanks again, Jacob, for this. Really appreciate it. On to the next one. I think, I know for sure I got this from Etsy. Uh, single stitch on the hem and the sleeve. Uh, this is an old Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, Psalms 151. What drove me to get this shirt, like it had nothing to do with the collar, nothing to do with it being single stitch. It had all to do with this bleaching on the side. I'm not sure what the previous owner did to this shirt. Um, whether it was an accident or on purpose, but it's obviously had some bleaching to it. There's a little hole in it even, um, but it turned out really good. And this is a shirt that I think will be fun to wear when we're allowed to be back outside again. Anyone that knows me right now, because I'm so into my collection and into vintage Jesus tees in general, I, I wear them all the time. It's typically the only kind of t-shirt that I wear at this point. Um, and it's also good for promoting the brand as well. On to the next one, which is another really, really good one. It's funny because I bought it and then, you know, I texted Jacob and I was like, yo, you'll never believe this shirt I got. And like, I FaceTimed him and showed him. He was like, no way. Like, I literally DM'd the guy about it and he said that it was sold and I was so sad, but now I'm hyped that you're the one that has it. <laughs> um, but it says, Christ is life, super destroyed. Um, and then on the back it says, the rest is in the details. Really, really good shirt. Really excited to wear it. I've only worn it around the house so far. Uh, it's a Delta tag, size large on the tag. Has some paint on it already. I didn't do anything to the shirt. It came just how it is. And this was really inspirational for me to, to see that like, you know, yes, I'm being a bit more intentional with the collection that I put out of t-shirts, but it's cool to see them in their natural state. So this is definitely inspiration for further collections and, and what you can look forward to seeing from David and Goliath moving forward. Another David and Goliath tee says committed to Christ on the front, single stitch on the sleeve and the hem. Another really good shirt. We got it because of the play on the double C's like the Chanel logo. I thought it would be sick. Got this one in Utah as well uh, at a flea market. Um, I just thought this was like a really funny shirt. It's like lighter on the Jesus side of it. Like, you know, it's obviously a spiritual t-shirt, but it's not so in your face and it, it's a bit comical in a way. So I was really happy with this one. Um, I like the color because it's like a bluish gray. I like what Jacob and I did with the painting on it. Um, so like I said, this is a David and Goliath t-shirt and it will be available for sale, but I'll link it so you guys can purchase if you're interested. Um, another good t-shirt. This is a Delta tag. It's double stitched on both the sleeve and the hem but it definitely is an older shirt. I could tell by fade and the wash and everything. But this is another 
one that's in my personal collection. I hand distressed this one myself, um, just kind of playing around with distressing and kind of learning a bit more. This is another one of those Living Epistles t-shirts, but I'm really happy with the way this came out. Looking forward to wearing this one as well. I've worn it already a few times, skating and stuff. Another good one that's from the collection, David and Goliath, which I'm surprised hasn't sold yet. The fit on this t-shirt is so perfect. Like, you know, it's the perfect width, the perfect length, it's a bit shorter. Single stitch on both the sleeve and the hem. Jacob and I were really hyped when we found this t-shirt. Like I said, it is from the collection. So we did all the hand painting. There's no distressing on it or anything. Everything that we got, we wanted to leave it as it was um, and just add to it and not really take away from it. Not saying that that'll, always do what we do but you know for what we're doing right now that was our intention so it says on the front salvation is not for wimps very similar to like the lord's gym t-shirt and then this one says on the back choose this day whom you will serve so a bit savage on the you know on the approach here with the shirt but super hype on this like when i say that i really am surprised this one's still available you know but i know that it's not for everyone so I might end up keeping it for myself if it doesn't sell within the next month or so honestly this one's single stitch Sleeving hem as well. Uh, the one cross for all colors. It's like a cross colors spinoff tee. Um, break down the barriers that divide. So this one was a personal of mine initially that I decided to put in the collection. Really love the colors on this, on the original print. Really sick. It's single stitch, super soft. Um, like I said, we put all our shirts through a wash so that they really get softened up a bit more. Really happy with this shirt. Also another shirt that I'm surprised is still sitting. Uh, last one out of the David and Goliath collection is uh, the Jesus Gives New Life shirt. This one's definitely gotta be like 80s, early 90s shirt, just based off the graphic. Single stitch on both the hem and the sleeve. Jacob and I were kind of iffy about this purchase because we knew that it was super loud. And I think it was almost, I think it was brand new if, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yes, it's old, but like when we got this shirt in hand, we were like, I don't think this shirt's ever been worn. Or if it has been worn like maybe once or twice. Um, it's from Antelope Springs Church. I'm not sure where that is, um, but it says where God's word comes alive and so do people. And then it has the Jesus fish on it. So. You know, we did a lot with the paint on this one. Again, it's from the David and Goliath collection. So it has a David and Goliath print across the chest on the underside. And then um, the tag right here in the back and neck of the collar. This one I found in Utah as well. Jacob and I were both thrifting and he was the one that pointed it out. I was a bit iffy on it because it's cropped. But then I thought about that episode of uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when Will is wearing the uh, the crop 76ers tee, I think it was, with the green sweatpants. Really dope, iconic fit in my opinion. Um, so that's what kind of gave me the confidence and propelled me to just cop it anyway. Single stitch on the sleeve. I'm sure it was single stitch on the hem before it was chopped. Um, so like I said, I bought it like this. I really love this print. I love the lion. I love the colors. The crown around the cross and around the lion. I think they're really cool. It's an old Allure tee. Like I said, I don't know too much about vintage t-shirts. Um, I just know what to look for within the hems and stuff like that. I couldn't tell you a year or anything, but really hyped on this one as well. Haven't worn it yet, probably because it's so cropped. This, I absolutely love. So I showed you guys this exact shirt earlier. So I, I doubled down on them because I found one that was brand new. And I found the, I had the brand new one first. So I was already in love with the graphic and the shirt. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh, there's no way, like I have to get this. So. I doubled down on them. Both of them are personals. I'm gonna keep both of them. Um, I think they're very good reference pieces uh, moving forward and what, we'll, and what we may plan to do later down the road with more collections um, if we continue to incorporate t-shirts. Uh, but they're both the exact same t-shirt. Both size large, both have Delta tags, but you can just tell like everything is exactly the same. Um, I think this one's a bit wider, but it's because it's been worn. Like this one I think is almost brand new as well. So it's really cool to see the difference between like what a shirt looks like when it's been worn and it's been washed and it's been, you know, you know, like basically destroyed over the years and then one that, you know, kind of stood the test of time. Uh, so I was really hyped on this and, and it's really cool. Both of these are single stitch. Like I said, they're the exact same shirt. Oh, actually this one is double stitched on the hem. So this one is probably slightly newer, but they still are the exact same shirt. So this one's single on the hem and the sleeve and this one's double on the hem, single on the sleeve. Um, but like I said, super hyped on that purchase. Had, being able to have two, sh two of the same shirts, it sounds excessive, but you know, if you're into vintage t-shirts, then you totally understand. Moving on to the next one. This is another Harley inspired t-shirt, like the one that I have on. It says, ride free to eternal life. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Uh, Isaiah 40, 31. And then uh, on the back it says, live to love, heaven bound, ride free, love the Lord, for it is by grace that ye are saved. 
Um, so I really like these kind of shirts because like I'm personally into Harleys. Both my parents have Harleys. I've had Harleys for years. I don't have my own yet, but I do have my license and I want to ride so bad. Happy to have this one for sure. And then last but certainly not least, Pick Jesus. Uh, looks like a you know guitar pick. So I really like this one. Got this one in Utah as well, I think. Double stitch on the hem and the sleeve, playing on the black on the back. Um, but I just like how simple it was. Like, you know, simple graphic, black and white shirt, easy to throw on, not too conflicting. I can pop it on with a fit and not have to work around it in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, so super hyped on this shirt as well. I've worn it a few times skating and stuff. One of the reasons why I decided to like start collecting vintage Jesus t-shirts uh, was mainly because, you know, they're like conversation starters and uh, I'm very much a believer in your clothes speaking for you. So like when, you, when you're walking down the street and you see somebody, like the first thing you're gonna look at is either their shoes or what they're wearing. And what they're wearing intentionally or unintentionally tell you a bit about the person. Um, so, it's, so I like to wear the t-shirts because, you know, it might spark conversation with someone that may not know who Jesus is or does know who Jesus is or doesn't care or does care, but just likes the graphic on the shirt. Um, so that's a, a lot of the reason why I wear that and intentional about building this collection. Um, like I said, it's about 20 t-shirts in total. I'm gonna keep growing and keep building. Like I said, these are really the only t-shirts that I'm wearing right now. I have a closet full of t-shirts, but I've been wearing the same ones, but I'm not mad at it. Like, I think it's really cool. And if you guys have found any cool ones, be sure to send them my way. You guys can hit me up on Instagram or pop them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time. Subscribe, share it to a friend. Stay safe during this quarantine time. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Peace. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this really quickly.